All right, we're on the Walker Bay Revo 21. It's a new luxury sport rib from Walker Bay. And we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. So starting at the bow here, you can see there's a large bow step. There's a um, anchor locker built into the bow step. There's stainless steel pop-up cleats, a couple of rod holders. Uh, Ford mounted rod holes are a popular feature amongst people that like to fish a bit. Uh, the other advantage of these is uh, actually you can install uh, sunshade or awning poles there so you can have a sunshade or an awning up uh, for when you're relaxing. Uh, there's uh, speakers, seven inch speakers mounted in the bow here. Uh, one of the advantages of having this full fiberglass uh, deck or gunnel is uh, there's room to put speakers, uh, things like that, higher up for better sound. Uh, there's uh, 11 uh, stainless steel cup holders on this boat. Uh, there's a one extra large one for the captain as well. There's a dedicated space for an igloo cooler here in the, uh, in the bow locker. Uh, you can see there's a, a sunbed or a filler cushion option installed on this boat. Now that filler cushion also doubles as a table uh, so you can seat a, you know, a family or a, a couple of groups of adults uh, in this U-shaped seating in the bow. Uh, again, this high gunnel with cushions and handrails makes it comfortable and feel secure for everybody to sit inside. Uh, there's also two uh, ratchet seat backs in the bow, one on the left. and then the other one there on the right or starboard. Um, there's lots of storage space and lockers. Uh, all the lockers have these nice latches and gas springs so they are easy to open and close. Loads of storage space in this boat. There's a large storage locker in the deck in the bow. Uh, apparently that's um, big enough to fit uh, water skis or a wakeboard. Um, or uh, the awning when you're not using that. Now, one of the things that people ask is, well, what do you do with the, the cushion for the sunbed or the sunbed uh, table when it's not in use? Well, that goes inside the console here. There's a um, storage space for it right there when you're not using it. Now, when you open the console door, one of the really surprising, amazing features on this boat is the um, the uh, little little head inside. There's a little porta potty option and also a, uh, a nice drop down little curtain in here if you want a bit of privacy when you're changing that just uh, snaps in place and um, that's a really interesting feature on this boat So now the porta potty is an option. If you don't have it as with the porta potty in there, it's just extra storage. And um, again, more cup holders. There's a fold down armrest on the console here. Uh, it's actually room for uh, maybe two adults or an adult and a kid to sit on the console there. It's really wide for a boat this size. So the Revo 21 is. Uh, it's almost nine and a half feet wide, which is um, really wide for a, a boat that's, you know, just about 21 and a half feet long. And uh, one of the reasons is that being a semi-rigid or a rigid inflatable, um, even though the maximum width for trailering boats without a permit is eight and a half feet, um, you know, you can deflate the tubes if you have to, if you're trailering. Um, so you get the, the beam of a bigger boat, but in, um, you know, in a boat that's uh, easy to trailer and transport, uh, as we get back to the console here, the console's really impressive on this boat. Uh, you can see it's extra wide, it's double wide. There's On this boat there's two 12-inch chart plotters, uh, two digital engine gauges, which is kind of more than you need. It's really just to show everything that there's space for. Uh, there's eight LED push-button switches. Um, there's a fabric-wrapped handle. Uh, there's a lockable glove box. Uh, inside there's a 12-volt charger and uh, uh, it looks like a yeah double USB plug in there. I think there's um, 
at least uh, three or four uh, USB charging portals on this um, on this boat. So I mentioned before the extra large cup holder. This is actually uh, an extra large cup holder for the captain. You can see it's bigger than the standard ones. Uh, there's a uh, tilt steering, nice fabric wrapped handle here. Uh, now there's two flip up bolsters for the passenger and driver. The advantage of the extra wide console is it gives the passenger and driver a bit more protection. Here you can see uh, along with the um, speakers up front there's a subwoofer installed in the console. Room for a handheld VHF radio, fusion stereo. Now this boat has a side or a flush mount throttle. Um, now there's actually uh, two options. There's a flush mount or side mount option. And uh, there's also a, a top mount option, uh, which, would, which would go right here. That's kind of a preference thing. Some people like the sort of the, the bow rider style. Uh, other people like the center console style. Uh, they gave people both options. Uh, the standard version is the is the side or the flush mount uh, just because it's a bit more uh, relaxed comfortable position now if you're out and uh, a lot uh, in really rough conditions or if you're used to center console kind of uh, um, configuration then you know you may prefer the top mount um, there's some nice uh, mesh pockets there to keep uh, you know a hat flip-flops uh, or this one that fits perfectly the screens for the sharp plotters um, Another cup holder, uh, another space in the armrest up in the gunnel for um, more speakers. And again, by getting the speakers higher up, aiming into the cabin, the sound's much better. Um, lifting up the really large rear storage compartment here, uh, you can see there's one of these handy uh, Home Depot style uh, Tupperware boxes. So it's great for keeping gear in there. And now there's actually a, a dedicated space for one of those. Uh, those are really popular for you know, people keeping stuff organized in their garage. So they thought to make space for one of those in the boat for gear that has to kind of come and go with the boat. Um, again, uh, another storage compartment here uh, on the left side of the rear seat. Uh, there's room for say at least three people to sit on the rear seat there. Uh, over on the passenger side compartment in the gunnel here, there's uh, another USB charging. Uh, there's a little pocket there, probably for your cell phone. Uh, it's a, handle and um, another speaker, two more two more beverage holders. Uh, as we get to the, the stern here, you can see there's uh, large steps, large reboarding steps, a lot of room back here. It's definitely not tight for space. Uh, there's compartments in the shoulders of the, the rear deck here. Uh, those are great for, uh, you know, bow lines, small fenders, things that you want to access easily. And um, there's even uh, more storage lockers on the uh, port and uh, starboard side. Those are great for, you know, wet gear, things you want accessible at the transom, like a ski rope. Uh, this one here is big enough to uh, fit, you know, a set of uh, fins, flippers, uh, some snorkeling gear. Um, the boat has uh, the option of uh, these uh, stainless steel flush mounted rod holders. There's four in the stern here. Uh, also a uh, telescoping um, heavy duty ski pole, uh, another Another cup holder there. Uh, there's a large, wide uh, telescoping ladder underneath the rear step here. So there's lots of room for for reboarding comfortably and easily. And there's also a freshwater shower, uh, so you can rinse yourself off. There's a nice walkway door here for reboarding. Again, all about you know comfort in this boat. Make sure that everybody, your family and friends are all comfortable on the boat. This one uh, is outfitted with a wakeboard tower and uh, bimini. Uh, it's a nice feature to keep the sun out. It's, uh, this one's got a wakeboard racks on it. You can see there's more pop-up cleats. There's six pop-up cleats all the way around. And uh, this boat, I. Um, is uh, rated for a maximum of 225 horsepower, has a 65 gallon fuel tank, and apparently that'll give you about 10 hours of continuous driving at 20 miles an hour. And to make uh, boarding easy, there's some nice reboarding steps on the gunnel on the side here, and on the, on the driver's side, so you got boarding steps in the 
in the stern, the sides, and the bow. Uh, it's a really um, innovative boat, this, with a lot of the comfort features that you see in a modern day boat or bow rider, but with the really rugged and sporty handling of a, um, of a rigid inflatable. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, for more uh, info on this boat, go to walkerbay.com. Okay, so now that we've done a walkthrough, we're going to uh, take this thing for a bit of a spin. Uh, it's uh, warm weather today. It's relatively calm, just a light breeze coming up, so not very rough, but there's a bit of a groundswell. It's maybe three, four foot, uh, 12, 13 second groundswell, so that'll give us a bit of feel for how it handles, and we'll see how she feels at uh, top speed. Okay, so really smooth. Uh, she took about four seconds, maybe a little more than four seconds to get up on plane. I think we're doing uh, kind of about 43, 44 miles an hour there. And uh, really comfortable, really smooth ride. Just feels like it's flying on the water. Uh, let's do some turns and uh, see how she feels in the corners. Wow, that was really fun. So we're doing probably uh, 35, maybe 40 miles an hour in the turns there. Uh, the trim down, it's got really amazing grip and um, feels almost like uh, driving a jet ski for a boat that's 21, a little over 21 feet long. Um, this thing really handles in corners, really amazing. Really good grip and uh, banks really nicely into the turns, uh, which is a Part of having the tubes a little higher out of the water in this boat. Um, wow, this thing's really fun to drive, really amazing, really exciting and fun boat to drive. One of the other uh, really great features uh, on this boat is um, the way it's designed for you to drive, you know, sitting down. Uh, here it's got a got tilt steering and it's got a flip up bolster on it. So you can drive it sitting down, which is nice for relaxing and reclining, you know, when it's calm. Uh, and um, another comfortable position is using this as a, a leaning bolster so you're kind of leaning against the back seat that's great for longer distances just relaxing and enjoying the view good visibility from uh, that seating position and then another option when you tilt the tilt the steering up here is to drive standing so you know on a boat this size uh, just under 21 and a half feet long uh, that's a really cool feature that you can drive standing leaning and seating and obviously the standing position is great if you're you know if it's if it's rough and you want to be able to absorb the the swell and the chop uh, obviously this boat being a rigid inflatable it's designed to handle rough conditions so 
uh, that um, really open driving position with a lot of leg room under the console and um, you know freedom to move around is, uh, is a great feature in this boat.